24 hours ago, I've been in fire base camps in the gorge and rural Lane County. I can just tell you, as Oregonians, we are so grateful for the courage and the commitment we've seen. And I can tell you, based on what I've seen, had we not had that Oregon way ethic, that problem-solving ethic, things could be much, much worse than they are right now. now I want to welcome Chief Took to Oregon. For those of you that may not be aware, he's had a long and distinguished record at the Forest Service, and he is a native Southerner where he's done a lot of good work trying to bring folks together and recover long leaf pine ecosystems. Now, Chief, we don't have any long leaf <laughs> pines, and our bountiful number of beetles, they don't speak with a southern accent. What we do have is megafires burning Doug fir and ponderosa pine, some of the biggest fires around. So Chief, in welcoming, welcoming you, I just wanted to say in the language of your native scent, y'all are going to be busier than a moth in a mitten. <laughs> now, I just want to wrap up with a little bit of positive news from DC. We've been talking about fire borrowing. I can tell you this has been the longest running battle since the Trojan War. It has gone on year after year, Congressman DeFazio, Congressman Walden, we've all joined in bills uh, to deal with this, but I believe this time can be different. A little bit of good news from D.C. yesterday. The new Secretary of Agriculture, Sonny Perdue, gave a full-throated endorsement to our approach to end fire borrowing so that you wouldn't have the Forest Service budget devoured by fighting fire and then not having the money for prevention. And the problem has gotten so out of hand, we've got new allies in unusual places. My guess is a lot of you wouldn't think Chuck Schumer the minority leader from New York would be a co-sponsor of my bill to end fire borrowing. You know what happened? He had beetles eating up the guys who made beef baseball bats in New York. And the Forest Service, for the reasons that these professionals will tell you, because they're always trying to move money around and because suppression always gobbles it up, they didn't have the money in a timely way. So Chuck Schumer of New York, there's not a lot of federal forests out his way, signed on as a co-sponsor of what the chief was talking about and the secretary was talking about. So a lot of people say, you know, it's just business as usual in Washington, D.C., and nothing is going to change. But I'll tell you, it is a really welcome sight to have a new chief on day one come right out of the box and say, we're going to treat these fires for what they are. Mega disasters, mega fires. They're bigger, they're hotter, they're stronger. They aren't your grandparents' fathers. And he said he wanted to do something about it and have a new ethic that focuses on prevention. And chief, and I can just tell you, you got Democrats and Republicans here. And on the Forestry Committee in the United States Senate, we are going to stand right with you every step of the way so that after all of these years, I had a full head of hair and rugged good looks when this fight started. <laughs> we are going to get it done. We appreciate your being here, and we appreciate all these wonderful people who've been helping us. And I guess now, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to introduce her, but we've got our terrific public lands commissioner, Hillary France.